Greetings, I'm Jonathan Becker. Today I'll be giving a video tutorial on my anti-jamming beamforming array. I'll explain to you what it is and how it works. A beamforming array is a special antenna array that you use in a situation where you have a signal that you want to receive, which I'll call the signal of interest, or SOI, and it's being jammed by multiple interferers. And so, basically the antenna array has several components to it. The first, of course, are the antennas, which are these one dipole, these one wavelength dipole antennas, which are arranged in an equilateral triangle with a reference antenna in the center. The reference antenna is there to make sure that there is always a sampling of the signal of interest and the three outer antennas are there to sample the jammers and help null them out. Now, on the three outer antennas, there are two types of hardware that are connected to them that are very important to this, the operation of this array. The first piece of hardware are these mini-circuit step attenuators, and then the second piece of hardware are these MeTech analog phase shifters. Together, those the step attenuators and phase shifters serve as basically a complex weight, and then those devices are controlled by a program on a computer via two National Instruments controllers. One controller is this digital analog controller, which controls the settings on the phase shifters, and the second device is a National Instruments digital input-output controller, which controls the settings on all the step attenuators. And so there's a special program running on the computer called a genetic algorithm, which I will explain how that works in a different video tutorial. But what the genetic algorithm does is that it controls all the settings on the antenna array, and then right now, inside this chamber, my program is taking multiple measurements of my array, right now the signal of interest, is basically controlling the settings and then measuring the output powers. And now it just finished and rotated to the direction of jammer number one, and it'll repeat those measurements for all the settings at that particular direction. And when it's done with jammer two, excuse me, jammer one, it'll rotate to the third direction which is representing jammer 2. And so my antenna array is inside a special room called an anechoic chamber, which you'll notice that the floors, the walls, and the ceilings are covered by these special blue absorbing foams, which basically are there to absorb any electromagnetic energy that hits them because what it does is basically it mimics free space such that energy that is coming off the source which in the background is this horn antenna which you'll see a webcam and a very large light on top of it and so what you want is all that energy to be focused on the antenna array and then anything that reflects off to not come back and so now it's the antenna array is in the second jammer position and it's taking those measurements and then when it's done with that again it will rotate back to zero degrees and compute a fitness function which is a signal interference and noise ratio. Now in my next tutorial I'll explain how the genetic algorithm or GA for short works. Now, in my case you know, I use a signal interference noise ratio as a fitness function where basically the GA will select a, the binary strings where each string represents all the settings for the step attenuators and phase shifters and then it will basically group those up into pairs and then perform crossover mutation where you can think of crossover like like chromosome splicing in biology. So that you know, is basically a quick nuts and bolts tutorial of how my antenna array works and I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for your time.